Hello and welcome to another episode of The Top Shelf with me, Shantanu D. And uh, I hope you've been keeping well. Summer is truly here, in, especially in India. It's uh, apparently the hottest March. It's been the hottest March in 122 years. So go figure. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Parker Frontier. Now this is a very popular pen, uh, especially in India. I don't know about abroad. I don't see too many reviews about it or any pe people talking about it per se. But I really like this pen. It's not very expensive. It's uh, it's smart looking. But before we go into uh, the details of this pen, uh, here's a quick uh, size comparison with some other pens that we know and love. Of course, starting from the top is the Lamy Studio, and the uh, below that is of course the Lamy 2000 and the Lamy Safari, and uh, the Pelican M200. And we round it off with our pen in question today, which is the Parker Frontier. I'll just line it up like this so that you get a more idea. Sorry for the background noise. There's construction going on near my house. I'm trying my best to cut out that sound. But anyway, here's the size comparison. A closer look. So it's a good size. It's not too large, not too small. A little uh, longer than the uh, Pelican M200, which is a small pen. But uh, I'm glad that this is slightly longer than that. Otherwise, it looks uh, looks pretty smart, pretty snazzy. Now, with that, let's get on with the review of this pen. A classic Parker clip. I quite like this clip. It's got a the arrow clip. It's got the Parker branding. Uh, this is an engraving, and behind that, it's got this uh, further engraving of says I and I N the capital I dash I N so probably that is made in India manufactured in India at least I like it it's a really nice brushed sort of metal it feels very good and the top really has nothing uh, you can see my light there so but yeah there you can see moving on uh, the clip is uh, not the best in the world but it'll do I, I feel that I can easily, mm, you know, bend this clip. But anyway, we're not going to be doing that. Let's take a look. It's see, it's a pull cap, and reveals a plastic black section, which has already got some scuffing. But uh, that's all right. Uh, this is the nib. Now this is a uh, fairly simple nib with the Parker logo uh, below over there. I don't know if you can see it. And behind is where the nib designation is given. As you can see, it is a fine. It's on the feed. It's an interesting feed. It's free, fat feed and plastic, of course. But I've noticed that, you know, these sort of fat feeds, I've seen them on sailors. I've seen them on uh, pelicans as well. They're not the same feed, of course, but the design seems similar and uh, all of those pens have good flow. This is powered by a cartridge converter I know a lot of people don't like this but I really like this converter it's the one of the easiest converters to fill ink from and it's just you know literally you put the ink in the bottle sorry put the nib in the bottle and a couple of uh, pulls and you are done it also has an agitator in there I don't know if you can see that but yeah there it is yep all right the ink is a um, Pelican ink, which I'll get to. We've got some branding as well also in the converter. And yeah, the barrel. Oh, it's got some steel stuff, some brass looking stuff inside it. But the threads are, pla uh, are plastic, so um, not the most durable, but that's all right. Uh, at this price point, this is a wonderful writer. It posts really well if you are a poster, so, as you can see. Very comfortable, very well balanced. So how does it write? Let's take a look. Now this is a, a sample that I had done a while ago and this is the Parker Frontier with the paper of course is Tomo River and uh, it's a fine but on this particular paper it tends to write quite broad. I don't know whether that's the property of the paper or the ink. Uh, of course the ink is wonderful Pelican Edelstein and it's the Moonstone edition which is a special edition and it's not very expensive this pen 650 rupees or eight and a half dollars good weight at about 21.2 grams 
and it's a little it's a little decent pen with with which is available which is available in many combinations uh, you know you have you have the gold version you have the matte black version then you have the one with the gold clip or the silver clip and so on and so forth i don't know exactly how many versions are there but feel free to look it up online and uh, frankly it's it's a it's a pen that uh, will not catch too much attention but it's formal enough to carry around in your pocket uh, it's fairly robust doesn't leak it has a good sealing mechanism and it's uh, so far it's always been uh, it's always been wet and never dried out essentially so let's try this uh, this pen let's try writing something on this uh, here we go this is the parker frontier so as you can see it immediately started writing uh, very well uh, lubricated ink as well i think this is a good ink it's unlike some of the other pelican inks which tend to be uh, on the drier side uh, there you go so fairly wet on tomo river paper here's a closer look it's a really nice color as well this uh, this ink all right uh great shading as well so moving on let's take a look at the performance of this pen in slightly dodgy paper. Uh, this is your regular photocopy or printer paper. And So, a good bit of uh, feathering, I'd say. Uh, not the best ink for this paper. So you might want to have slightly better quality paper, and that's not for the pen, it's only because of the ink. If you're using some regular ink like Parker Quink or, uh, or some Waterman or some Schaefer ink, which is very safe, uh, I think you'll be, uh, you'll be perfectly fine uh, with this pen. And that's about it. This is the review for the Parker Frontier. Uh, great little pen, highly recommend it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I know this particular video got a little delayed, uh, but uh, worry not, I will be back for more soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.